All right, folks, in this video, we're going to update the BIOS on the MSI MPG X570 Gaming Plus motherboard. So this is uh, actually my first time updating one of these. Now, on the channel, you've probably seen me update about 20 um, 8th Gen 300 series Intel motherboards. And this is actually currently my only AMD motherboard. Um, so I usually just go through the uh, the BIOS on uh, boot up. Uh, sometimes these guys come with software that you can update uh, from within Windows. Uh, at least the higher end gigabyte ones have that. So I didn't even bother to look into that for MSI. We're just gonna um, go through this. And uh, so we want to Google the uh, MSI. MPG X570 and then we'll go to their website so usually I would use a uh, screen recorder but uh, some aspects this is just easier because hopefully we'll be able to record this straight through alright so we're going to go to support BIOS, and then you want to grab the uh, the most up to date one, right? So some of these uh, these are cumulative, basically. I think they take the best of each one and put it in the next update, uh, maybe eliminating you know some mistakes they may have done between BIOS updates. But uh, so this is the one we want right on top, and they just did this one in November. 2019 so we're gonna save as and we need a thumb drive okay so I'm gonna put this HP 64 gig thumb drive in here and I'm gonna do a save as hopefully I'm gonna do a save as there it is alright I'm gonna rename it to uh, X570 MPG so it's saved and now or it's saving sorry so since it's going to USB drive it takes a little while longer okay so I'm gonna click on the open folder button and you'll want to unzip this before um, going through this hassle so hit the extract button And let's hang on 99% complete for an eternity. Alright, finally. So you want to make sure the whole thing is copied over um, incorrectly. Last thing you want to do is have a bad um, BIOS update file or um, use the wrong BIOS uh, from a different motherboard. So we've got that. Now, uh, a couple ways you know one can go about this, possibly at least three. I mentioned uh, sometimes going through software. You can either have your hard drive installed or not have it. Um, so if we were to just shut the computer down, I could pull out my M.2 uh, NVMe, and this wing will shoot straight to the BIOS without having to hit any buttons. So uh, since I don't, um, I have to hit the F2 key and. Uh, so sometimes some of the other computers are different, but um, all right. So we're going to go ahead and power it up, and I've got the USB in there already. I'm going to start jamming on the F2 button. All right. So um, 
had to do this a little differently. We uh, we pulled the graphics card out. I don't know if I'll edit all that material out, but um, when I was going into the BIOS, it is uh, basically having, uh, I don't know if we'd call it driver issues, but um, it's zooming in too much to the point where it, it's too difficult to show what's going on. So I took the graphics card out and uh, we're going to um, hopefully get this thing into the BIOS. Now like I said, um, as it's booting up you want to be jamming on the F2 button. Um, sometimes you know that that doesn't work so great. Okay, so looks like our issue has been resolved. Now I can actually see uh, what's going on. Let me adjust the camera. So in this example, MPG X570 Gaming Plus, I've got the not very exciting AMD Risen 3 3200G with Radeon graphics. We, uh, well, we've got quite a bit of memory in here. And um, CPUs staying a nice balmy uh, 29 degrees Celsius not bad those Wraith coolers aren't uh, are definitely better than the Intel ones um, alright so what we want is right over here folks and I'm going to momentarily zoom in you want to click on the lower left corner where it says M flash okay so I'm gonna do that let me zoom back out so you can see the next prompt and it's probably going to say it's going to reboot. So we're going to click on that. System will auto reboot in enter flash mode. Do you want to enter flash mode? Yes, I do. And so um, along the lines of doing the troubleshooting, and maybe it's worth keeping in there, uh, just so you know, like you may go in here and go, wow, I cannot work like this because I can't get this thing um, to look like it just did so that's when you um, if you're able to pull your graphics card out and just uh, use the processors uh, integrated graphics uh, in this case now some some CPUs that won't work because they don't have integrated graphics alright so here is our folder and there is uh, there's the file okay so Let's just look at this current BIOS version VA20, and that was June of 2019. So it's really not that old of a BIOS. Um, so are you sure you want to select this file? Yes, I am sure. Let's do this. All right, so BIOS is updating. Now, if all goes well, um, we should uh, see this thing, you know, restart on its own. This is a case where you definitely want to make sure uh, as well that you're not doing this during a lightning storm. Um, you also want to make sure that you've got a good power supply and the correct power supply that's size for this because, um, you know, during certain types of load, um, these things will put a lot of uh, stress on your system and require more power, right? So if your system isn't uh, properly uh, sized uh, for the PSU, then uh, your computer could reboot on its own in the middle of this, which would not be a good thing. So this is going to take a while. We see we're only at 12% and uh, Hey, if you're watching this, please go ahead and like the video because obviously you needed help with this. So, and I'm helping you, right? Um, doing this free of charge. So, um, you know, yeah, I appreciate a like, and if uh, you'd be so kind to of subscribe to, we got lots of wonderful videos uh, on the channel, uh, unboxings, reviews of cases, CPUs, motherboards. Um, solid state drives. I don't do hard drives anymore, so just uh, 
pretty much NVMe M.2 SSDs, uh, graphics cards, usually every uh, month or so we get a new graphics card in here, um, and uh, RAM as well, so along with a lot of other uh, computer related gear, headsets, and uh, PCI uh, Express cards. Alright, 22%, this is going to take a while still folks. I'm going to um, stop recording until we get closer to... Uh, Alright, so we're at the 74% or 75%. This is uh, this is really taking a while to update. Um, seems to me the Intel motherboards are uh, a lot faster. Um, I don't know. Could be in my imagination. But uh, the mere fact that I have not updated it AMD motherboard in who knows how long um, might have something to do with it. So I'm just going to let it record from here on out. Alright, so um, somehow it shot from 80 80-ish to 100%. And uh, if we're lucky, folks, we will have... Um, an updated BIOS. Now, a lot of times for the Intels, I would update the 8th gen motherboard uh, so that it would be compatible with 9th gen. Uh, in this case, what you would want to do is um, just keep an eye on those BIOS updates until you see one that is worthy of uh, updating. Uh, this is not you know, the safest thing to do to update the BIOS. You don't need to do it for every, every BIOS update. And we're in, folks. So, um, that's a good, a good sign there. So, I'm going to, uh, reboot it. And then we are, uh, just so you can see that it is uh, up to date. Alright, so um, take two on that. Finally worked. So we're in the BIOS and uh, there is the BIOS version November 2019. So we now have the most up to date.